Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we're going to be talking about some different things from the Comic Con panels that have been confirmed over the last few days. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got the Comic Con panels and some of my interviews that I did with the Supergirl cast they're going to be coming up in the next few days once I get back to England that's all going to be uploaded because I simply can't upload it right now you know with the equipment that I've got so that's going to be happening so be on the lookout for that so turn on notifications to not miss that that's very exciting and you know today's video is going to be talking about all the crisis information that we got from Comic Con and this is a lot like there is a lot of brilliant stuff that was announced and it was kind of shocking in some points so yeah there was just so much information so I had to make the trailer breakdowns you know I I've still got to do the Arrow video and there's just multiple other things that we have to talk about in regards to the shows but that's going to be coming out over the next few days so no worries about that so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the anti-monitor because we got our official first look and it's not really a first look because it is a concept which is really cool and it's actually from Arrow so you can presume he's gonna first show up you know prior to Crisis probably on Arrow and so this is coming from Mark Guggenheim and he has officially confirmed that the anti-monitor is going to be played by La Monica Garrett and it will look something like this that you're seeing on the screen right now so this is very exciting I really didn't expect La Monica Garrett who plays the monitor to play the anti-monitor but I really dig how this looks and obviously this is very different from the comics in the comics the anti-monitor is humongous he is literally massive in size and the anti-monitor that you see here is basically the same size as the monitor and that's not the same as the comics but I'm willing for them to do whatever they want to do because I really do like this first look I like how his face is sort of greyed out you got the yellow in his eyes sort of matching the gem sort of stone in his chest and it's a very sort of washed out version of the anti of the monitor's suit sorry that we have in the Arrowverse and you know he's going to be popping up they actually confirmed in episode 1 at the end of episode 1 for the Flash the Monitor is going to show up on the Flash and warn about the crisis and you know potentially Barry dying and how everything is going to go down so yeah this is really cool and if you zoom in even further you can obviously see the details in his face and how it's you know different from the monitor and so I reckon you know they can make changes this is only a concept so it doesn't mean that you know th this is the final thing they can make a massive they can you know change him however they want but I have to say very excited for this and I think La Monica Garrett does a great job with the monitor, so I'm looking forward to this. And yeah, okay, so let's move on to the next thing. And so the next thing is that we got the official confirmation that Pariah is going to be showing up in the crossover. So Pariah in Crisis, if you've read it, in the comics, he's a massive thing. He's sort of a messenger, he's stuck, he's cursed to do this, to sort of spread spread the word of what's going to happen the imminent crisis and yeah he's basically cursed to do this for eternity so he pops up in various locations over crisis and he warns of what's to come and you know he's very distraught and he's a very interesting character so we got the official confirmation via the flash panel that yes Pariah is coming, and Pariah is not just a, you know, a random character. Pariah is going to be played by Tom Kavanagh, who plays Harrison Wells. Like, what? Tom Kavanagh? I was sort of like, what the hell when I was at the panel? 
because if you've seen the comics, it's not anyone you know. It's a new character that they introduced just for Crisis. So to think that a doppelganger of Harrison Wells turns out to be Pariah, that's kind of crazy. Like, I think they're obviously going to come up with some sort of reason, and I think Tom's going to do an excellent job because, you know, this character has to really act he has to really really kill it and sort of act all cursed and sort of you know uncomfortable and you know just not in the right place and I really think Tom can do that but yeah Pariah is just like nothing like Harrison Wells you know when you read the comics so I'm really intrigued to see what's happening right here because yeah, I don't know. It was just such a surprise. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about that? Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So we got the official confirmation. We got this funny sort of back and forth. Brandon Ralph broke out onto the stage in the arrow panel. We have Mark Guggenheim sort of going back and forth with him. You know, doing a joke that they've sort of crafted before. And... We got the official reveal of what Superman suit Brandon Ralph is going to be wearing. So they were talking about, oh, so we went to Warner Brothers. We tried to get your old suit, you know, in Superman Returns, and we couldn't do that. And so then, you know, he was like, oh, let me open my shirt, and we'll have to wait and see as to what, you know, Superman suit we're going to do. And he opens it. And you see the Kingdom Come Superman logo. That is crazy. And so Kingdom Come is set in the future. And, you know, it's a completely different story and a completely different logo from the Superman that he once played in Superman Returns. So, yeah, that is crazy. He's definitely going to be from another Earth. Remember, this is all leading towards, you know, the destruction of the multiverse. So everything is to do with the multiverse and, you know, these different Earths. I don't know how long he's going to be in the Superman suit. I feel like he will die. I feel like a lot of these characters they are announcing will die because, you know, that is part of it, that you must lose all this. But also at the same time, see, our heroes save so many other lives. So also... It seems like, you know, this is not the same Superman from Superman Returns, so it's not like, you know, in continuity, and this is a Kingdom Come version of Superman, and so his sort of suit logo, you can see it on the screen right now, this is what it looks like, and it's very different, obviously, from the normal Superman logo with the House of El symbol, so yeah, very, very exciting stuff, can't wait to see this with Brandon Ralph. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So Lex Luthor has been confirmed to return, and he's going to be in Crisis. He, you know, we he has an undisclosed role, which we don't know, but he revealed this at Comic Con. So John Cryer was there, and John was able to reveal that he was actually coming back next season. So super exciting. John was so good as Lex Luthor. I had no expectations. He really, really killed it. And so he's going to be returning. And, you know, the last time we saw him, he was with the monitor. And the monitor sort of swished his fingers. He swelled his fingers. And that's how we left the season, last season. And so we all sort of presumed he was either teleported somewhere or he was revived. Probably teleported and revived. So it seems like that happened and... What's going to be happening is we're going to see him. He's going to play some sort of role. And I believe he's going to be more of a hero, like an anti-hero. He's going to be helping the Earth. Because, you know, Lex can't defeat Superman. He can't defeat Supergirl if there's no Earth or anything like that. So in the comics, he does that quite often. So this is all super exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video talking about all the different stuff that's going to be happening in Crisis, and, you know, this is all new information. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.